Last week's loss was no ordinary loss, as the Titans blew a 27-6 fourth quarter lead, ultimately losing in overtime to the Tampa Bay Buccaneers and throwing away what could have been a positive first win of the 2023 season. To put this into perspective, when the Falcons blew their 28-3 Super Bowl lead against the Patriots, they at least held a 19-point lead in the fourth quarter. We blew 21 points of an advantage against the Tampa team we had dominated for 75% of this matchup. We lost to a team that had as many fourth down conversions as third down conversions, and are now left to try and recover one week after, remembering no matter if we lose by 40 or in heartbreaking fashion in overtime, it's one loss. It's an 0-2 start, it's not ideal, but it's week three. There's a lot of season left to be played. And today we try to put that loss behind us, taking on the Houston Texans, a team we split the series against a year ago. A team that has been accumulating a lot of good young talent from the 2022 draft and now most recently the 2023. The Michael Roundtree, Tom Townsend, Corin Gillespie, and Brian Pickett will all be contributors this season. And I think roster-wise, this team is definitely headed in the right direction. During last week's loss, we also had tackle Nicholas Petit Frere suffer an arm fracture. He will miss the next three games. I did not think Dylan Radon's played well in his place or in the preseason, so we have signed James Hurst, who was with us during preseason games two and three, and we are going to move Dylan Radon's to the practice squad. I just don't think that as a pass protector, he's developed enough, and I don't think that he's going to be a future starter. But week two is over. It's ancient history at this point as the Titans try to move forward in week three. Both teams 0-2, hungry for their first win. Under the 16-game NFL schedule, teams that start 0-3 have only made the playoffs under 5% of the time. Even with a 17th game, 0-3 is not where you want to be. Off we go in week three. The Texans are up first this week. And it's Davis Mills in his third season leading out this offense. Houston surprisingly did not go quarterback in the last draft. They have stuck with Davis Mills at least for one more season. They start out offset backfield on first down and they'll run it. This is Devin Singletary for a gain of four. They picked him up from the Buffalo Bills, one of their main free agent pickups. Eric McCoy, the center, was another. Second down, the pass from Mills is caught on the outside in front of Christian Fulton for a first down. Texans at their own 38. To the outside, caught by Singletary, getting away from Fulton. Very close to a first down. They mark him two yards short. Again with the offset backfield. Mills rolls out to his left and throws downfield to Irv Smith. Tight end came over from Minnesota. So this team has been a little busy in free agency. Maybe not a lot of huge additions, but... Some marketable improvements, and now a shot downfield, and Smith couldn't hold on. Farley played the boundary there very well. Continuing to throw to the sideline. It is caught by Nico Collins. What a catch. Dragging his toes along the sideline. Into the red zone. Mills has an open man. Collins inside the five. 17 more, and Davis Mills is cooking on this opening drive. They run it, and Singletary punches it in. How about that for an opening drive? Struggles out of this defense that did not play well in the opener and did do well for three quarters last week. But nine plays, 76 yards, Texans strike first in Nashville. Now we're hoping that Malik Willis can help this team bounce back. Had a couple turnovers late in that game last week. No touchdowns, four interceptions thus far on the season. And on first down, starting with Derrick Henry, who has gashed this defense many times. He's had two really good performances, but they both come in losses. It's a fake on second down, rolling out to the right, and it's caught. 
First down to Sal Sexton, who was quiet in his debut. Still getting acclimated here in the offense. First down, back to Henry, cutting it downhill. He gets four. We should continue to see a lot of multi-tight end sets. Willis wants to take off and gets tripped up just barely. That's a gain of one. It sets up third down. They bring pressure. They get to Willis and the pass. Incomplete on the check down attempt for Derrick Henry. And Houston starting this game off positively as they get it back. Mills heads to the air again. He's got time. Nobody open, though. Now he's in trouble. Heaves in desperation. Out of bounds with a flag for roughing the passer. Mills running around eventually drew contact. So another blitz from Tennessee, and they sack Davis Mills. Zach Cunningham. Long third down now for the Texans. Secondary backs off. And the pass is caught across the middle and not quite getting there is the veteran Sterling Shepard. Tennessee takes over. McColl Hardman is in the game. And on first down, Henry up the middle. Lost the ball. And the Texans have it. Jalen Petrie came in as the second defender and he knocked it out. I don't think Henry expected that second hit so suddenly. And the... Texans have an instant red zone trip. 13 yards out. Mills to the end zone. And it is popped out and incomplete. It looked like that was going to be a Brandon Cooks touchdown, but Kevin Byard saved it. And Amani Hooker almost picked the pass off. Third and six against the Blitz. Pass caught, but short of the marker. It is fourth down. But it doesn't appear they're about to kick. Aggressiveness out of Houston. Toss to Damian Pierce. Hit and drop for a loss. Turnover on downs. Tennessee coming up big. Take over at the 12-yard line. To the air. It's Calvin Ridley on the reception. And there's a 12-yard pickup. Slow start to the year for Ridley in the first two games. Not quite what we saw in the preseason. And they get to Willis now. Jonathan Grenard. And these plays are drive killers. James Hurst really slow out of his stance there. This Houston defense actually looking pretty good here in the first quarter. Mills downfield and the pass is off the mark. And it's a hold against Houston. Tennessee will back him up. Going empty in response on first and 20. Sailing it for Cooks, and he makes the catch. Fulton gives up another big play. He has not started this season playing like he did at the end of last year at all. They're going after him. First and 10. This one's caught. Irv Smith with the stiff arm. And extra yardage, a gain of 15. Houston just looks like a good team so far. On first down, pressure on Mills, and he's dropped by Linval Joseph. Right up the middle that time. Backing up Houston again. Second down and 20. Mills, a shot toward the end zone! Caught for the touchdown! Nico Collins! And he just ran past Amani Hooker. This is not... A tricky route combo. It's one-on-one. -on -one. That's your half. You have to make the play there. What are we doing? It's 14-0 Houston. Since the beginning of the fourth quarter last week, we have been outscored 42 to nothing. And Tennessee gains nine with Derrick Henry. This is not feeling like the response we were hoping for. Henry off tackle over a defender, and there's a first down run. Henry trying to get things on track. Has his own big mistake today. Off the rollout now, again caught by Sexton. And off play action, that's where I think he's going to be very dangerous as a rookie. From the 48-yard line, here's Henry getting upfield with it and a catch of 10 yards. 
That's how you have to play against these soft zone defenses. Third down now, and Henry gets the conversion straight up the middle this time. 32 yards on the day. And now Tennessee from the 31 of Houston. Again off the fake. Willis downfield and too much for Calvin Ridley. Hardman checks in. He's in motion on second down, and they hand it to him. To the edge, and run down by Jalen Petrie. Nice play by the second-year safety. Setting up third down. To the air, Willis connects. It's caught by Ridley. First down, Tennessee. Moving slowly down the field. Now a red zone trip. Here's Henry. Breaking tackles and bursting into the secondary. A gain of 10. Two deep safeties in the end zone for Houston. Will is throwing for Burks, and he has the touchdown. And Tennessee has ended the 42 to nothing scoring run they've been on. And that was just a good possession. They avoided negative plays, and they stayed consistent. Nice possession, 14-7. You got to slow down a Houston team that's looked pretty good. Nice hit by Terrell Riddick, who did have two sacks last week, by the way. Third down, caught Irv Smith again, outrunning Zach Cunningham. These linebackers do leave us at a disadvantage when we play man coverage, which I'd like to see us do more often. Short run here for Singletary makes it third and a full yard. Mills wants to throw it, and he has the open man. Sterling Shepard, gain of 10. Davis Mills, 14 of 17, really playing a good first half. Singletary now, and it opens up for him. Inside the 15, and run down after a 25-yard run. Best of the day for Singletary. Texans back in business. With two minutes to go, Mills protected to the end zone. It's caught. Touchdown, Brandon Cooks. And right after Tennessee puts together their best possession, the Texans strike again. We have not been able to pressure Mills enough to throw him off his game, and he's picking us apart. 21-7. to This might not be the same Houston team that you can pencil in as a fairly easy win. They might be 0-2. But they're a tough 0-2 team, that's for sure. Tennessee with two minutes left now to respond. And this is Raheem Mostert in the clear! Outrunning Houston! He is gone! A 97-yard kick return touchdown! There's never a bad time for one of these, but this was an exceptionally good time, given the way this game has gone. Although you do give a two-minute drill chance now to a Houston team with a defense that's got to be feeling some fatigue in the first half. That's caught by Shepard. Third down. Tennessee playing press coverage and the pass hauled in by Shepard. Fulton just a half step behind him. A minute 14 left to go. They have all three timeouts. Pass caught. Nico Collins, great first half. He gets nine. Already at midfield, and they have two timeouts remaining. Mills going downfield, and this pass is knocked away by Christian Fulton to set up third down, and the Texans go empty. Protection's there, but nobody's open, and time runs out as Mills is sacked by Harold Landry. Tennessee limits any further damage, and we will go into halftime with a seven-point game. Tennessee's offense hasn't been great today, but it's a close game. They're in it. We'll see how the second half goes. Next week, another division game coming up, and the Jaguars will be their next opponent. They had one of the best offenses in the NFL last season, but with an 0-2 start, they get their first win today. Tennessee also looking for their first win, and they have the football to get the third quarter underway. They'll run it to the right. Henry running over a defender. That never gets old. Gain of six. Three tight ends, a clear power running emphasis. To the edge is Henry. He gets the first down and is run out 
at the 47 of the Texans. They're going to stay in this package and now look to throw. Sexton's there for a short connection. Third and two, three more tight ends in the game. Inside, Henry right at the sticks, and he gets it. Only two tight ends in the game now for Tennessee. And they go back to Henry, and he's got an opening! Inside the 10, touchdown, King Henry! And the Titans have tied this game up. They get back to the basics on this possession, and now we have ourselves a brand new ball game. Nice job capitalizing on opportunities. I do still have concerns about this defense after allowing three touchdown drives in the first half, and now Singletary rips off his best run of the ball game, and they're already into Tennessee territory. You gotta slow down the Houston offense. Mills throwing complete again, and Singletary's playing really well, keeping Damian Pierce on the sideline. They go empty on second down. What a throw to Cooks! Leading him to the outside. Davis Mills is playing outstanding. They give it back to Singletary to the 11. They'll mark him at the 12, third and in inches. Singletary, the single back as they look to throw it, and it's off the mark! Intercepted by Christian Fulton! Angling toward the sideline! And he's outrunning Houston! He will go! A pick six, and Tennessee takes the lead! They have flipped this game on its head. 21 unanswered points, and Davis Mills, who had played so well to this point, makes one of his only mistakes in this game, but it's an extremely costly one. 28-21, Tennessee on top, and another good run for Singletary. This is getting really concerning. He's ripped off a few really good runs today, now over 100 yards. Mills, short, it's caught by Cooks. He's been so accurate throughout this game. That miss really came out of nowhere. They fake it now. That one's caught. Irv Smith. They're moving the ball still. We haven't seen this Houston team go three and out much. They fake it. Mills looking downfield. Doesn't want to throw. And now does, but it comes up way short. And Harold Landry is shaken up for Tennessee. He will leave the field. Cedric Samuel, the rookie, now in the game for third and five. Mills dumps it off, and Singletary's there for first down yardage, and they enter the red zone. Tennessee's going to play press coverage. They bring pressure off the edge. Mills dodging and throwing up top where it's through the hands of Fulton. Double A gap look from Tennessee. It's a run, Singletary again, finds space. And here's a gain of nine. Third and short for Houston. Pinching the line, Mills wants to throw it again. He's got a man open, and the ball gets punched out, and Tennessee has another red zone takeaway. Nico Collins, who has played well, just has it punched out. Kevin Byard with the peanut punch from behind. They're not making a lot of plays, but they're all coming at the perfect moment. 28-21. Facing a tough third down now in their own territory. Willis wants to run and lost the ball in the process, but Tennessee is on it. They're still going to have to kick. Two costly takeaways for Houston. But only down seven. Nice play. Cedric Samuel dumps Singletary for a loss. Tennessee showing pressure on second down. It's Singletary wrapped up again. Robertson on the stop that time to make it third down. Defense trying to get off the field. Mills has time. And now running out. He's sacked by Riddick. And the rookie ends the drive. Third sack of the season. He's been matched up with fellow rookie LaMichael Roundtree and wins that battle. Tennessee gets it back. Ten minutes to go. 
And they bottle up Henry trying to get to the outside. All the way across, that's Hardman on the bubble screen. And Petrie's there again. He's played really well. Third down, Tennessee. Trying to get a drive established. Pass caught. Burks is there and just gets the conversion. They got to run some clock here. They go three wide. Paul Taylor is in the game as Henry runs it and gets drilled. Traylon Burks looking to be a bit shaken up on this play. So he's going to come off the field now for a third and two. They bring in the fullback, Leonard Rouse. Following him, Henry gets the conversion to midfield. Again, Tennessee out of the eye. Off the fake to Henry, going long, and Sexton's wide open, but the pass sails way over his head. Third and ten. Have to get to the Houston 40. Stepping up, and Willis hit down. Just as the pressure got there, he had Hardman open, and Dean Lowry wraps him up. Houston getting the ball back. Down seven, five minutes to go. They run it with Singletary, spinning off a tackler. He gets first down yardage, a buck 24 for Devin Singletary. From their own 19. This pass is incomplete. Nice job by Christian Fulton, continuing to battle in this game. They bring pressure. Off the edge, nobody blocked him. Sacked by Monty Rice. We're starting to see Tennessee make plays on defense. Third and long Houston. They've had luck going downfield to Collins. Mills to the air, good coverage. Now in trouble, he's sacked by Samuel. Back at the three. Filling in for Harold Landry and battling with one of the best Laramie Tunsil. I've told y'all since preseason, there's something with Cedric Samuel. And Tennessee's getting the ball back. Three and change to go. From the 45 with speed, Hardman gets to the 48 of the Texans. And now the goal is to run this clock out. Raheem Mostert is in the game and he will get three on the carry. Henry's in now. They fake it his way. Willis wants to throw, and it's complete. Man hurts shy of the sticks to make it third and short. Three tight ends plus Derrick Henry. They give it to him. Henry, though, can't get there as he ran into Taylor Lewan. And the Texans hold strong. And they will be getting this ball back, it looks like. Tennessee does not go for it. Stonehouse with the boot. Resting inside the five. What a kick by Stonehouse. The Texans need to travel 99 yards in a minute 49. Singletary broke a tackle and Samuel brings him down at the 11. They get some breathing room. Houston with two timeouts. This is caught. Cooks on the move across the 20. Timeout. Two deep safeties for Tennessee. Oh boy, there's pressure from Parker. I don't know what happened there with the center. Parker got by him right off the snap. Back at the 17. Underneath for Shepard, and that should be first down yardage. But they've got a long way to go still. And Tennessee lets them waste time getting back to the line before spending a timeout to get new personnel in the game. 43 seconds to go. Mills complete. Singletary's wrapped up again in bounds. And they'll use their second timeout. 31 seconds to go and 59 yards to go. Over the middle again. Herb Smith into Titan territory. And they'll use their final timeout. We'll see if they try to get closer or if they just start to take some shots. Looks like they want to go to the end zone. Mills will get it there, and it's picked off by Kevin Byard. This game is over. Tennessee gets their first win of 2023. In come from behind fashion, they take this one. And Kevin Byard is definitely one of the MVPs of this game. He saved a touchdown earlier, 
forced the fumble of Nico Collins, and he seals it before heartbreak can show up once again for this team. 28-21 is your final, and the Titans are 1-2. Still a lot to build upon, but we get the win. We didn't have a great day of offense. We ran the ball pretty well with Henry, not as well as the first two games, and ran the most vanilla passing game you could probably imagine for a couple of reasons. One, obviously just trying to play safer as a response to last week, but also that right tackle spot's a problem. I don't trust it. Initially, I wanted to play Elton Jenkins inside because I wanted him to help our number one focus, which is the running game. And now I'm thinking we can probably just move him out to tackle, try to solidify that spot, take a little loss inside with the ability and play somebody else at center. But it might just be better for the whole offense because that right tackle, I had to peek out for every throw because I couldn't trust it. And that's no way to play. At the same time, I want to do rollouts to the right. And again, I need a tackle to allow us to do that. We lost Harold Landry this week. Broken ribs will have him sidelined for a week. And that means Cedric Samuel's going to start. And he's been making plays since preseason. He had, of course, the big sack today, a couple TFLs. Whenever he's in the game, I notice him. He just makes an impact. Now, we also lost Dylan Radons off the practice squad. He was gone quick, went to the Cowboys, but I just didn't see him as part of our future plans. So, we'll take on the Jacksonville Jaguars next week. Elton Jenkins is going to play tackle, and it makes sense in this matchup, especially given Trayvon Walker and Josh Allen on both edges. This is a team that has added a couple more intriguing rookies from this past offseason. Lamont Cooper, wide receiver out of Iowa. And then safety Deshaun Payton from Virginia Tech. I think he was a great find for them. They had an outstanding offense last year, although we spoiled Trevor Lawrence's chances of a 50-touchdown season in the finale. But they also had a game where they sacked us 10 times and threw all over us. So I'm expecting a really tough game, especially because our defense has mostly struggled and the big plays can't always be relied upon like we got today. We only scored 14 points on offense. We got the pick six. We got the kick return touchdown. But I'm hoping we can start to see this offense take steps forward like we saw in the preseason. We looked better there than we have in the real games. And I think we have to get that passing game going, get Calvin Ridley more involved, and hopefully we can start to do that in week four. But thanks for watching, everybody. Looking forward to your feedback on this one. Hope you had more fun with this episode. Please leave a like and subscribe to the channel, and I will see you next time. Have a great day.